Hello everyone. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are well. So here I am back with another tutorial. In this one I am going to show you guys how to modify some vectors. And of course in this one I am going to I get these questions like where to download vectors. So most of the time I am downloading vectors from Freepik and there are some specific profiles like I follow this DZM studio. They are really good and their works are really awesome. And I'm not promoting them, but this is just to give them a credit because I use a lots of their stuffs in my design. And there are some free stuffs, there are some premium stuffs you can download with your subscription. But most of the time, I am downloading my vectors from Freepik, so that's a thing I wanted to share. Anyway, so in this one, I am going to share a share with you guys how to modify vectors. Like this is a vector from DZM Studio. This is another one. This is another one. Now point is if i am going to use this one as it is it is going to be identifiable like anyone can see this vector on online and they can report you like this is from there but if i modify this vector like with this one then it, it is not going to be that much recognizable and anyone cannot just report you so this is not copying any others work we are creating our own graphics but as we are not the artist we cannot draw like this so i we can use some resources so first step is I am going to take out this helmet from this one and also this will help you guys how to understand how to modify or work with vectors. So if I select this one this is a this is basically a group. If I keep selecting I can select individual part of the graphics here which, what is not grouped together and you can see some of them are not being selected. So this is how vector works. Now if I select this group together you have to make sure that there is no stroke in it only fill and you can make sure that the fill is in black that is also a good thing and then if i press shift e shift e means eraser tool and with my eraser tool activated i can press alt and then drag like this so that will help me erase this part precisely now something like this from here i don't want to erase any of this part and then i want to just erase this part but as you can see there are some details of the vector here I want to erase because I don't want any details of this skull because I will be replacing this skull with the other one that I have something like this then of course like this and this is a really quick way to work and then if you want to do it more quickly you can press Q Q means lasso select tool so with lasso selection tool you can simply select a part like this and then press delete so that will be deleted so this is a quick way now in this one you can see this is not a like that vector this one is like grouped together some different parts here so if we want to make it a one single vector then we have to first of all you can see there are some other colors like the white and the black and i want only the black so simply i will trim it from my pathfinder tool and when it is trimmed out I can simply double click to isolate the group so that nothing else is affecting. Select the magic one tool, select the white and then delete. So that will erase the white part. Now only this color is left. I am going to select this and then let's try to make it black. So it is completely fine. So now I have two vector parts. Let's say I want to combine them to make a single graphic like this. Now I am doing this because these are not my original works. I didn't draw them so maybe someone else out there can also take this and use that in their design that can be cooperated or that can make confusion between me and him so that's why I just change the skull from here I am just going to use another skull but with the helmet here and there is a really simple way to fix this you can see now my skull is visible through the helmet and i hope you guys know this how to do this if i select my skull open transparency for it and here is the helmet line okay let's make it easier so i'm selecting the skull and for now i'm making this red so that i can completely see and then i'm going to select this ctrl x ctrl b that means paste in back so now my helmet is on front and i can see it clearly and now if i select my this skull inside the transparency I will have to take my pen tool here because this is a long area I don't want to do it manually with pencil tool so something like this and once I reach this area I just cover this part 
so just like this don't worry about these areas but one thing that i want to share that the skull should not be visible from this area this is the back area of the helmet so let's take our pen pens sorry <laughs> pen tool again and if i hide this part this is fine let's do that for this area too now this is just to hide those area as you can see guys we are inside the transparency and we are drawing everything in red you can see here that is red or you can see here the fill color is red but if we select i am pressing ctrl a to select all then if i make it black it is going to hide those parts now that is not visible don't worry about this area that will not be visible too so if i select my this skull now and then make it black it is going to combine with the helmet there you can see really this is how easily we can make it so i am keeping this a group so this is now not the exact vector like let me show you real quick so okay this one is my previous this one is the original vector and that one is just i created with combining them two now they are looking very similar but not exactly same so if someone is showing this one and reporting this vector this is not going to work because this is a complete different one the, this part is of course the same this is another skull but this two is not exactly same so let's keep it as it is now for this gun part i wanted to, this is a gun i shared in my group sometimes ago in my shall not be infringed design you will find that in my facebook group description i want to make it look like a skeleton that is a skull with helmet that is it is kind of holding the hand with holding the gun with his hand something like that mm -hmm. and for that i wanted to bring a skull hand here so you can see this is a skull part this is a skull hand and sometimes things are not really grouped up to make it easier so if i select this two this is my hand part i am going to copy them then i am going to paste it here and i am not deselecting them once they are selected i can simply erase this part because that part is not necessary so something like this that is fine i am selecting them all you can see they are separately grouped is done everything we can select separately so i don't want that i want it to be act like a complete single graphic and for that i am simply going to trim it and after trimming double click to isolate select magic one click here that will select the white or if there is no white it will look like this i am selecting but nothing is selected so if there is white this is going to be selected press delete and that is gone if i select this part and make it white there can be some problem this is the same problem i showed in my previous video and for fixing that the quick fix is make a blank stroke then of course select the blank stroke with magic one and uh, you can see there are some blank stroke in the in this part too in this graphic too and that is really cool that it is going to be removed at once if i press delete that is gone so every part that was that has that kind of blank stroke is now removed so this is how i wanted to make my graphics here now this is not going to be look that much bigger i want to make it holding the that part of the gun something like that maybe <clears throat> i hope that is going to look good and if this is like this then make a copy controller to reflect and uh, let me just uh, try it uh, real quick so if this is going to work or not i will be okay so this is how if i place them like this it is going to work i am just checking that if it will look good or not yeah it is good, looking realistic that this is the left hand this is the right hand let's do it so i don't need to do it in two file i will just need to do it in one file so <coughs> sorry guys i am selecting the hand here changing the color because that will help me see the things properly so this is the position i want this to be so i am going to select them i am going to select the gun first then i am going to okay here one thing we need to understand that the gun is just behind my hand so no part of the hand will be hidden by the gun but every part that is right now visible through the skull hand that we should hide so for doing that we can simply or we can keep this part of the gun on top okay let's try that 
and selecting the gun open transparency and then make sure to select the black color and then this is the area of the finger I am taking my pencil tool here and if I draw a shape like this wherever I will draw a shape that area will be hidden so like this it can take some time for some of you guys to make it precisely because it takes a lot of practice to I am doing this with my mouse no graphic tablet here so it can take some time now I am going to keep this part because that is not the finger part so that part will be visible not hiding so something like this you have to just understand the transparency one once okay so I get some comments like how to understand transparency guys i have many different videos on exactly on transparency you can check my channel you will understand how transparency works so i think this part is done <coughs> okay i have i done mistake here that is this part of the finger should be behind this hand is holding the gun so this finger will be on the behind of the back of the gun so i will keep it like this click here and now i am going to select my hand here with my hand selected open transparency whatever we select just let us take or pick that one's color so here is the red we need to make it black and now from this area i need to hide this part of the hand just like this don't worry it will look good and for this area i am going to take my pencil tool sorry my pen tool because that will be easier and then click here bring it here I am just staying inside my black area of the graphics. So that part is done. Let's click here. Don't worry about anything. Everything is perfect. I am going to make it black. So with black that is not going to be visible. So this is how my design is looking right now. Let's keep it in group like this. That is fine. So okay. So you are inside a group already. So this is how my graphics is looking right now. I can simply now bring a copy here. Press Ctrl R to reflect. So this is how my graphics will, I just have two graphics right now. So something like this, this is the position I wanted to keep my graphics. And for this part of the skull, I wanted to keep it here. I wanted to make it a little smaller because I need to match the proportion with the hand and the gun. I'm making them this to a group. Now I can select them three and align them center ones. So this is how it is going to look right now. I can maybe simply make it <clears throat> okay let's do some tricks here let's change the color of the design so for this area the hand will be on top so I'm selecting this guns and hands group open transparency and then this part of the gun will be hidden so let me let's say I am I'm going to draw a shape here just like this okay this is right now red so it is not making it complete transparent but don't worry about that we will fix that later okay guys so yeah that much is good so in this area the skull is on top but in this area the hand will be on top and for making that we can simply okay so let's say i don't want to make it that much detailed so let's hide this part of the helmet okay guys we are inside the we are inside the guns group so that will be hidden in the next part so click here for the next part the next part is i am going to select my this guns group open transparency for it and then i want to hide this part so i am taking my pencil tool make sure that you have black in fill your fill color is black so then you can simply make it small one by one you don't have to make it all at once something like this that part is being hidden and then of course this part i don't want it so i am hiding that but here i will keep the part of the helmet part that is visible but not here it will be visible there so let's just make it something like this you have to understand which part you want to show, which part you want to hide and it can take some time but keep practicing it will be easier for you guys to understand 
like it's now easy for me i i exactly know what to do and where to do so that is fine let's say i want to make it black and with black there is no problem everything is matching with one another so that part is done now everything is everything looks good i want to just make them all a group because i don't want to lose that position so that is fine let's say i want to take a ellipse here not a perfect ellipse maybe something like that but let's take it in a oval kind of shape just like this make it a stroke make it a bit bigger stroke and now if i select them all i can simply align them center wise <coughs> so this part is done right now i don't want to make it that much white just like this maybe and that is fine let's say let's align them on once again and this part i want to make it a little up so this little part of the gun i want to keep on top now there is one way that i can simply make a clipping mask here and if i select this round shape this oval shape ellipse copy that and then even then again select all of it make a clipping mask here then press ctrl f so that part is this this can be done like this or here is another way that i wanted to share with you guys that is if i select this group i can simply make a transparency for it and then i will be taking a my pencil tool with black fill of course then i am going to draw a shape inside this shape of the ellipse and that will make my those part hidden and now why i am doing this i will explain in a bit let me first do it so that is this is how we can do it now let's say i want to hide this part all of it and that this is good if you see this that those parts are still there but not visible so that is fine now for this part i want to keep the guns on top so if i select this ellipse i will be opening the transparency for it now i want to take my pencil tool again but in S, not in a stroke mode fill mode and with fill mode i can simply draw a shape here and that will be hiding those parts and now my gun tops are in front and that is visible not the ellipse part so this is i think easiest to do now all i want to do is i want to create a copy of this text sorry the ellipse control c to copy it i'm going to make this a group again and then press control f so with control f we are pasting that in front i want to make it a little bigger like this so it is a ellipse shape it is not going to distort but whatever we pasted in this ellipse that is all always applying on this one too so inside the transparency i will find this too i want to delete them and that is fine so then i am going to place my i am going to start my text work here okay so text work is like i would rather die like a man than live like a coward that is the text i want to use here so this like a man i am going to place it here i will take maybe i am not sure northern army northern army is a, this is a better than design a army design so of course my font will be a army font or a stencil font no fancy or scripted font here so i am i am just taking my type on a path tool i hope you guys know how to do this and then like a man let's this bring the type on a path options center okay and this you will find here type type on a path then type on a path options and then if i make it a little bigger because i want to place it there like a man i can simply make it a bit bigger because that is the wide of the main design is really big and then if i select this one control c control f copy paste in front and then exactly rotate this in a way okay <laughs> sorry for that it takes some times anyway we can of course adjust this position this is the center position not the center position that is the starting and the end position of our this text we have to fix that and now then leave like a coward let's say like a coward like a man like a coward that is okay let's keep the design simple
I'd rather die like a man but here the apostrophe is missing so I will need to do something here because in some text this doesn't support so if I make it a little rounded like this I think that is fine but of course we can simply make it like this and then I will want to keep them a group so that is I'd rather die I'd rather die like a man sorry die like a man then live like a coward uh, okay so if I select this text here this one control C control F I want to make it a bit smaller here then rather die like a man but I want to make this part smaller okay guys I'm very very sorry for this I want to do it like this because this part is really important for us for this design then live like a coward then live I want to make it this type this style then for this one I am going to use my gunplay maybe gunplay regular this is also a stencil font and as I said this is army design a stencil design so I am going to make it like everything in a stencil font so that part is done I don't think this is necessary and then leave I would rather die like a man than live like a coward so that is fine now I want to make it make sure that it is everything is perfectly aligned so if I press if I bring a ruler my shortcut is con all control alt and R but you will find control R for ruler so this is my wide of the design I don't want to want anything to be excess that part so <clears throat> I'm going to make it bigger like this and this is the regular thing that we do let's bring it like okay distort transform and free distort let's make it a little down like this I want to make it a little longer click ok and then I will make it arc lower okay guys so I made a mistake here I have to make it like so I want to select this one go to effect distort and transform and free distort and free distort I want to make it straight down not in a curve wave so that much is done click ok then go to effect wrap and then arc lower kind of this and then I want to make it bring it down so that will fill the area most of the area of my design but if I select this one I can always go to this properties panel click on this effect ok I have applied two effect here so it is not showing it up but if I would apply one then it would show but don't worry about that that is not the important part here so I want to bring this one here I want to apply the same effect for this part of the design too so go to effect distort and transform free distort of course I want to make it a little bit up like this that is looking a bit more okay that much is fine click ok okay guys there is the easiest way you can bring this up like this I'm sorry I was just making it confusing I don't know why so here the previous count was minus 20 percent so this time I will be okay sorry guys the, there I applied minus arc lower so in the opposite side I have to apply arc upper then it will completely match with the proportion now if I make it big like this it is going to kind of look like that so that much is good for me but for this area the empty space I will just add some elements here like a star here just in the ruler area and then another star here in the ruler area I am aligning everything with the ruler so that will keep it all together then here again the same thing but in this one we can make it a little bigger because this area the text is a little smaller here so we can make it bigger the stars bigger that will look like exactly same so this is how it is going to look right now and I think that part is done but I want to I wanted to do something else that is using the US flag I wanted to make it 
<coughs> look cool with the flag so for this one I am going to use this flag maybe let's say I also shared this flag with the beer design that I did for US Marines you will find that okay this part is not looking very good because that area is not okay so I will just use my this flag here I am going to reflect it the stars should be on left all the time so in this area like this now here is a here is a problem that I didn't make it like a clipping mask so if I did like that I could just place this inside the clipping mask but I didn't do that so how to fix right now if I press ctrl x ctrl b that will paste my this flag in the background and now if I select my this ellipse here you can see the ellipse is selected press ctrl c to copy now if I select my this one this flag and then press ctrl f then press shift and ctrl on the flag click on the flag so that is that means the flag and the ellipse is now selected if I right click make clipping mask it is going to mask my flag like this so if I select my this flag clipping mask Ctrl X, Ctrl B, cut paste in back. Now that is not really visible through my this all the stuffs here. So for fixing that, I will need to select my these elements here. The skull, the guns, and if I press Ctrl F, that means the offset part, shortcut I set, and I want to make it round. So I want to make it little like a small offset part here. Then if I press OK. It is going to give me the offset path. I want to make it unite. That is fine. Let's control X to cut it. Now, if I select my this flag group, I will be open to able to open the transparency. Now press control F. So control F will make it look like this. It is not perfectly looking very good, but let's don't worry. Let's merge unite. So merge unite will make it a little problem here in some of the areas, like you can see this part of the gun the flag should be visible from this area the flag should be visible from this area so for fixing that if i select this part and press ctrl f again that means i am testing the offset path and on top of the margin unit layer and if i select them both use divide then they will be divided but i will be able to make it ungrouped so when that is ungrouped i can simply select each and every part of the design and then I can delete whatever part I don't want. Okay, that is fine. This part should not be there. And of course, this part, you will need to understand this. It can take some time. So this is how my design is looking right now. And then it is, my flag is visible. My graphics are also visible. And that is, that's what I wanted to do here. And for this area, I just wanted to make it look like this is not a simple text place here okay so let's me let me first break the text this is my text here let's okay we are inside the group so it is not showing us the create outline option you have to go up object and then expand that will break the text so that is fine then i'm going to select this part of the text and now if i select this like this you can see the option here is, it is visible and I can make it more or less because this is a one effect I applied so I can modify that. So that's why I applied one effect here so that I can show you. Now this text I will be able to create outline. So that is fine. This is the all similar same type of graphics work that I showed. So this is how you can make a really cool looking t-shirt design. Now of course for a design like this you will have to <coughs> understand the vector works well you have to understand the transparency works well but once you get the idea i think that this is really a cool way to make a design like this make sure that nothing is going like if i bring a ruler here that is that should be the end part of the design so if i keep it like this in the top it is going to make some extra part for the design so that is not really necessary here so I'm going to erase my ruler here. Okay guys, so this is how my design is looking right now. I hope you will enjoy this one. I will do some colorization video later. How to make a design colorful. 
or maybe I will show you guys how to make this design colorful in my next video. Keep commenting if you want to learn that. I will check. So have a great time, guys. Thank you everyone for watching. See you in the next video, guys. Thank you.